again, I, 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 we know they're going to do food shortages. That's the next conspiracy theory. All these distribution places burning down and Bill Gates and China owning our land and eat the bugs and Frank and meat. We know where this is going, but I've been prepared my entire life. I, I just thought it'd be zombies, you know, not shit libs on a power trip, but I'm ready. And, and you know what? Bring on the food shortages. Maybe these people will wake up when they can't get their freaking McDonald's and, you know, they start losing weight. Like I, these people need to be hit with something because it really, <laughs> I mean, once you realize what just happened with this clock shot, what won't these people do? I mean, they will right. start a war. Look at, look at Ukraine. They were willing to start World War III to hide what they were doing in Ukraine. They're willing to kill. They don't even care how many people as long as they can make money. And once you realize this isn't people being dumb, this isn't people being lazy or even corrupt. These people are evil. We are cockroaches. We are livestock to them. And what do you do with livestock when you have too big a numbers? You call the herd. And I, I don't know what this plan is. I, I've often wondered. I mean, like the people that didn't take this are going to be the people they're stuck with. So they're going to be stuck with a bunch of combative, patriotic assholes like us. And everyone that believed in them, well, number one, if they survive, we'll never believe them again. I, I don't see how the how bad people can get out of this. I, I hope not anyway, but that's the optimist in me, I suppose. Right. And I do want to jump into this because it is important. You mentioned earlier about even with the um, Las Vegas shootings, there's an important factor in this that I do want to talk about. But first, guys, I got to remind you that if you every single day wonder how you can maximize your mental capacity, but you don't want to rely on toxic prescription medication that can get addicting, you also don't want to max out your coffee because you don't like the jitters. Well, you might not have ever heard of nootropics until today, but if you go to nootopia.com slash offensive, that's N-O-O-T-O-P-I-A dot com slash O-F-F-E-N-S-I-V-E, that's nootopia.com slash offensive, you can get 25% off the entire store of the greatest brain activating products that honestly to help you to get through. So on a realistic form, for me, I used Adderall as a kid. That's why my jaw moves all the time. I don't have any magnesium. I don't like to use prescriptions and hard drugs like that anymore. And also coffee does give me anxiety. All of a sudden, I think my whole life's falling apart. I start thinking about the deep state. I wonder if I did 9-11. I have no idea what's happening. I'm all over the place. And then I'm like, why is my brain jumbled? I'm all confused about the about the, the, the facts and everything going on. And I'm like, oh, I need to clear my brain up so that I might take some Upbeat, which is one of their amazing products. It helps give you clarity, focus, get your mood up. And I can actually start piecing things together about the stories, the narratives. And it's amazing. I also have a friend who views them who works in construction. I have a friend who, uses, who works in the office and has that lull through the day. You can try some of their other products as well that can calm you down or their Xamner juice, a couple sprays, gives you energy for the day. Right now, get a gift or be the grift and actually don't care what people want for Christmas. Just buy them nootropics at nootopia.com slash offensive. That's N-O-O-T-O-P-I-A dot com slash O-F-F-E-N-S-I-V-E. That's nootopia.com slash offensive for 25% off the store. Click link in the description. Support the shows that support you and free speech. Check it out today. So I did want to bring up something very interesting, though, about the Las Vegas shooting. People don't remember, as we spoke about earlier, that... You know, not only was the the wife of the Las Vegas shooter, which we have like, what, a two-page report with no motive, was she an FBI informant, but his brother who decided to speak out, remember, I think it was within, within seven days, the FBI raided his house and found terabytes of child pornography on his computer, on his computers and put him in prison and gag ordered him from not being able to speak. And they claimed it was unrelated. This is a true story. You can look this up. You can just research. The, he just got, dis, I think it, the, 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 case, the, the case just got dropped and the charges got dropped because there was no way to prove that those hard drives weren't planted. But essentially it's like this guy and he's disappeared. No one's ever heard from him. You have the Las Vegas shooting. There's one guy trying to explain what happened and the FBI, you know, does the same old trick in the book. They just take out whether it's through planting, you know, evidence, whether it's through murdering, they can just control narratives and do whatever they want. And the media never talks about it. It took like four years. Heather Heyer, oh, Charlottesville, she got killed. One person got killed, or at least that's what the narrative is. And then we all, you know, Charlottesville, it's so horrible. Fine, fine, Charlottesville's horrible. Let's just all agree on that. The Las Vegas shooting, objectively worse. But of course, the one witness we have was apparently a pedophile, and now we never hear from him again, even though he got dismissed. That's what they do. I mean, it's crazy. Well, did you see the documentary I did on the Las Vegas shooting? I mean, I did a full length two hour doc. Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I'm, and that's kind of where I'm coming from with you. I know you know the truth on this. It, so give us the information. The, there were two brothers. All three looked exactly alike, which is freaking weird, honestly. Um, but I, I spent a half year putting together everything anyone sent me. And it was disappearing off the web as I was looking at it. <laughs> like, yeah, like, thanks government for going back on my research. Um, there are so many questions. And within two weeks, when have you ever seen the media 
drop a tragedy they can push gun control on after two weeks. There were so many holes in the story. There were three different timelines. The corrupt sheriff, Joe Lombardo, kept making up different timelines until the casinos were happy about it. Um, the hard drive that walked off the crime scene. There were, th and Laura Luma exposed this, there were three people. We didn't know this for a year and a half because they had to release the body cam footage. They fought it all the way. Three people other than the girlfriend and Paddock that were registered to that room that they will not name or investigate. And the only reason I could think they would do that is they were feds. And, and I did this documentary thinking I would find Islamic terrorism. And, and of course, the Saudis are always somewhere around a corner every time we have one of these things because they work with us. Um, but this was a feds. It was a fed cover up 100 percent. And I can't think of a reason why they would cover it up if it wasn't them. And I can't think of anyone who could get away with helicopters turning off transponders and telling the news to not report on anything other than our government. They tried to take the entire Second Amendment and they killed a lot of us to do it. That is what happened. I don't think Paddock shot anybody. It doesn't make any sense. He, he laundered his money through gambling. He was a spook for sure. I, it looks like a gun deal gone bad. And then they used him as a patsy. And if you just watch this doc and anyone who hasn't, there were shootings up and down the strip, even after Paddock was found dead. Why did it take cops like an hour to go into the room? It, it, there's so much wrong. And we're the only reason we even know what we do is because I had to read police reports and people's cell phone footage. You mean to tell me the most surveilled city, maybe even in the world, we don't have that footage overlooking the venue from Tropicana or, you know, Mandalay Bay. All we have is like cell phone footage and a few street cams. It doesn't make sense. And I've been trying to expose the truth on that for a while. And I think if people, I, oh man, I don't even want to be that person to be like, hey, your government's trying to kill you. That's an awful thing to have to tell people. And I was worried when I did this, I would get come, you know, Shit, man, these civilians saw more combat than a lot of my combat veteran friends. They saw people getting their head blown off in front of them. I was worried I was going to re-upset them. It, I didn't. Because everyone in this town knows something else happened. They know there were shootings up and down the strip. They know it wasn't just Patty. They know the government's covering up. And of all disgusting things, the, the corrupt sheriff that covered it up, just one governor here, as a Republican who's against guns, who's pro-red flag law, and force vaccinated his own men. That's how corrupt it is here. We're not making any of these decisions. No one is voting for anything. The criminals in power here do whatever the hell they want. And no, who's going to stop them? The four-time arrested attorney general that also won re-election despite the crime wave that he's responsible for? It's a cesspool. And I can't wait to see these wheels come off this cart because I, I don't know other than telling people the truth what's going to change anything. Right. No. And that's actually, you know, where, where we come from in this is that it, it is, it is almost difficult to, since the JFK assassination, uh, <laughs> that there has been sort of this, this spiraling downward, right? We have the, the culmination and the building of the United Nations and this sort of globalist movement to unite the world and to create a one world currency and a one world, one world government. And then people said, that's a conspiracy. And then you literally have the new world order. You have Klaus Schwab and you have the world economic forum saying this on videotape, just, you know, on a daily basis, the media doesn't cover it. People don't talk about it. And then even when you play videotapes of the event, they get fact-checked or they get, you know, you know, uh, they get a, 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 what's it called? An explanation. I don't even know what they call those anymore. They just like add those little tags at the bottom. Like, by the way, this video is not real. And you're like, that's the leader. Like, I don't know if you saw this, the leader of France was speaking in front of swastikas at the world summit. They had the, the, the symbol of the world summit was a swastika. Go look this up. If you don't know about this, go look it up. This is like everybody spoke in front of giant swastikas. And then they tell you, oh, he's an anti-Semite. And, he, you know, he posted some ancient cultic symbol that looked like a swastika. And now he's an anti-Semite. And they go, oh, well, but by the way, the, the, the World Summit isn't speaking in front of a swastika. That's a Buddhist peace symbol. And you're like, okay, you guys can't even get your story straight then. So did he post a swastika or not? Well, it looked like one, so it is a swastika. Okay, well, yours looks like a swastika. Well, actually, it's a peace symbol. Dude, you guys are so convoluted and you've brainwashed people so much that nobody even thinks for themselves anymore. You can literally, you know, watch your friend get their head blown off and you're told you're crazy and you need to stop being a conspiracy theorist. And it's just hard to watch. It's hard to see. It's hard to digest. It's difficult to know what's going on. And I've mentioned because of the smoke screen of the way the world is right now, fact from fiction is more uh, or increasingly difficult to differentiate because, you know, you're like, 
It's like, it's like, it's almost like you've been trying to get the world red pilled and get the information out there. And now it's out there, but no one cares. <laughs> like it was the fight was to get the info to the people, but it's now evident. And no, and everyone's just like, yeah, I mean, so what if we're being brain controlled and you know, we're being taxed up our ass and we're going into a one world government and everything's a lie. It's like, you know, Hey, did you see the, did you see the new gossip girl? And you're like, <laughs> ah, you, you start to want to just rip your hair out genuinely. There's about to be a lot less people like that, so I don't know what to say. I mean, it's a sad commentary, but it's disgusting. Like, my entire Instagram is people dropping dead. You know, I don't know how the holiday is going to be because everyone has a story of someone having a heart attack at 25 and stuff. These aren't the things we wanted to be right about. All we can do at this point is stop the government from freaking doing something else or something worse or some of the distraction or World War III or whatever the hell. But if you keep going back, you will see this pattern. You're going to see it with pandemic. You're going to see it with the Las Vegas shooting. You're going to see it with the Boston bombing. You're going to see it with the Oklahoma bombing. You're going to see it with Waco. You're going to go back as far as 9-11. And why are we in Iraq, which didn't even do it? Why aren't we actually going after the country? You know, whatever. Why did Building 7 fall? You know, the, the Vietnam War was fought over a lie. It was fought over a made up instance, the Gulf of Tonkin. How many people did we lose in Vietnam from, from Agent Orange, from just dying? They're still finding landmines. For what? Who benefited from Vietnam other than the military industrial complex and the banks that financed it. My God. And you know what? They killed JFK for that. You want to go full circle on that? You know, op was Operation Mockingbird? They were going to kill Americans to start a war with Cuba. JFK was the only person that wouldn't sign off on that. So between his battle with the banks and that, and God knows what else at this point, you know, they he couldn't be in the picture. And then Johnson, that piece of shit had no problem lying to get war powers from Congress. That to this day is why we don't, we're overseas fighting stuff we don't need to be because they don't need our permission anymore like they used to. And it keeps going back. You go to World War II, go to World War I. We supposedly fought World War I because one guy got assassinated? I bet not. There's so much to our history that is falsified, that is fake, that is weaponized by the victors who eventually win, you know, and, and I don't think we've been in a fair war since the Revolutionary War, really. And I think they're mad at us. That's what the Civil War was about. They funded both sides. You think they cared about right or wrong? They wanted money. They wanted to see us tear each other apart. And that's another reason why I think they're always, till to this day, tearing down Confederate statues. We need to remember how awful it is to shoot at another American. I don't ever want to forget that. And that's why those need to remain up. But this is what happens. You know, very bad people have controlled things for a very long time. It's not enough they have America or one country in the middle of nowhere. They want the entire world. Where are you going to go? You can't just move us, you know, I could move to Florida if I didn't like it in Nevada. Where are you going to move when these people control the world? Guys, I want to let you know something important. Speaking of a cover-up, you've never feed your dog or you never know that many of you have a mother-in-law or somebody that would not give the dog spoiled food, food that would make its stomach is upset. Dogs are constantly having gut problems because there's one dangerous food that is in most dog foods that you need to stop feeding your dog immediately. The food will harm your dog. It is the number one worst food you can give, period. If you have a dog, if you know someone who loves their dog, please listen to this because this is for you. The manufacturers include this ingredient in their, in their dog foods. They consume it daily. So why is it one of the most common protein sources in kibble today? The dog food ingredient is meat meal, and it can be made up of spoiled supermarket meats and packing plant scraps. Sadly, it turns out that many dog foods, even ones labeled healthy, contain this mysterious meat meal, which is essentially causing more harm than good. We all love our dogs, and many of us consider them our best friends. We even treat them better than our family members. Your dog needs a high meat diet, and so do you, which is critical for their healthy lifespan. That's why Dr. Marty, would world-renowned veterinarian, decided to make his own dog food to combat against these harmful issues. Right now, I need you to do something important. If you love your dog and if you know someone who does, you need to send them this link. Click the link in the description below to find out more about these dangerous foods right now and what you can do to help. P.S. If your dog has been feeling tired or not having the energy it used, this one ingredient could be the reason. It's so important that you click the link and you check it out today. I'm going to click the link right now. I'm sending it to a few friends because it's so, so, so important that we continued to give this uh, out. If you want to, click dogfoodexposed.com slash offensive. I'm sending it D-O-G-F-O-O-D-E-X-P-O-S-E-D.com slash O-F-F-E-N-S-I-V-E. That's dogfoodexposed.com slash offensive. Click the link.